Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So just quickly before we start, I want to say I'm very sorry about the camera angle. So yeah, sorry about that. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys the five easiest scooter tricks. This is definitely a video that is made for beginner riders. So the tricks that are going to be in today's video, starting from the easiest, going down to what I would say is the hardest, a backside 180 and a frontside 180, a bar spin and an oppo bar spin, a tail whip and a heel whip, and then a backside or frontside 360, whatever is your natural. So I'm just going to get straight into it here and I'm going to start out with the back 180. So what you're going to want to do for the backside 180, you're going to bend your knees and you're going to turn into it. And then as you turn into it, you're going to pop and then you're going to throw your head back. That's pretty much all there is to it. Now for a front side 180, what you're going to want to do is the same as in the turning and the jumping. But when I do them, I don't really throw my head as much as I throw my feet forward. So what I mean by throwing my feet forward is that I'll turn and I'll jump and I'll throw my feet out here. So when I land, I'm in fakie. It's as easy as that. Now we're gonna hop onto your normal bar spin and then your opposite bar spin. So what you wanna do for bar spins is you always want to throw down. You never want to throw up with the other hand. Always throw down. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to figure out which way you bar spin, whether it's downside or top side. So what you wanna do is you wanna take one hand off and throw the other hand around. You're gonna take that one hand off and you're gonna throw the other hand around. You kinda of just wanna practice that so you can get used to the motion of starting the basket. Once you've practiced that for a bit, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take this hand off and you're gonna bring it down here. What you're gonna to, going to do then is you're gonna throw the other hand and the grip's gonna go straight into there and you're gonna catch and roll away. Now for the opposite basket. I sucked at these for the longest time. I could never do them because I was always throwing up with the other hand and I, my oppo bar spins would look something like this. I, could, I couldn't do them. But since then, I've actually learned how to throw down with the opposite hand, and now they're a piece of cake. So pretty much all you need to do is learn how to jump and throw down with one hand. That's all I can, I can't stress that enough always throw down. For the next trick we're moving on to a tail whip. So for the tail whip you're going to want to figure out which foot you want to flick it with. Either your front foot or your back foot. Personally I flick it with my front foot. I skated for a long time before I learned how to tail whip so it's pretty much just like a kickflip for me. You can choose to flick with your front or your back. It really doesn't matter. If you're flicking with your front foot you're going to want to jump and get your back foot out of the way straight away. Whatever foot you flick with, you should always catch it with your back foot no matter what. If you flick it with your front foot, it's going to be a lot easier to learn how to catch them because your back foot's not going to be doing anything. You're going to flick it with your front foot and get ready to catch it with your back foot. But what you mainly want to work on for the tail whip is that you really need to use your hands. The motion that you do with your hands during the tail whip is somewhat like that. So you want to flick and then with your hands you want to bring it around the whole way. Whether you're flicking with your back foot or front foot, it doesn't matter, you still need to use your hands. Once you get a bit better at tail whips, what you want to do is you want to start learning how to catch them. This is pretty easy as well. What you want to do for the whip catch is you want to flick it as hard as you can, use your hands as much as you can, and get your back foot out and ready to catch it. It's pretty much that simple. 
one more thing while learning the tail whip is that you need to remember to jump as high as you can. And that's pretty much all it is for the tail whip. For the heel whip. Ideally, you want to flick your heel whips with your back foot, but it doesn't matter. I naturally flick them with my front foot because I skated and I heel flipped. So pretty much what you're going to want to do for the heel whip is the complete opposite for the tail whip. Once again, you got to flick, you got to use your hands, and you got to learn how to catch them. that easy. Lastly we're going to move on to the hardest trick which really isn't that hard. This trick is the back side or front side. It's kind of just your natural 360. So what you're going to want to do for the back side 360 is same thing for the 180. You're going to want to bend down. You're going to want to carve into it. But for the 360 you're going to want to carve a lot more than the 180. A little trick for learning how to 360 is that you can actually do a like a 180 or like a 270, almost into a fakie mani. That is technically a 360, but what you can do is you can start by learning them like that and then you can gradually do more of a spin before the fakie mani. When you actually turn, and you carve into it, and you bend your knees, and you go to jump, really look over your left shoulder. So jump, and make sure you look over that shoulder. If you really look over your shoulder and carve and pop, you'll get it pretty quick. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial part of the video, but for the rest of the video, I'm just gonna do all the tricks that I explained how to do. <laughs> I don't learn a lot of things by myself. Yeah.